here. Okay, just checking everything. Okay. Hey, welcome to episode four of season one of Telltale's Walking Dead. I had some extra time, three or so hours before Caitlin, my fiance, gets back. So I figured let's go ahead and do something that takes about three hours. Episode four, Around Every Corner. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Fucking Ben. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... What the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Just made a made a typo in my tweet about it, so I wanted to cover up the evidence. Episode four, around every corner. Yeesh, Omid's not looking good. You were lying to us. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Motherfucker. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Ben, I... I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, Ooh. I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? <laughs> it tolls for thee. 
That's very poetic, Chuck, but this is like serious shit now. Everybody, run! We gotta go! Don't you do this? Oh, Ben! God damn it! No! Woo! Thank you, Chuck. Not all. I'll give me a fucking break. Wait. Hey, Dorno, what's up? How are how are things sounding? We're still on the heels of our uh, Shit, our adventure too. There's no time. We gotta go now. Just go. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. How are you doing today, Kenny, Dorno? How's that door <laughs> working on Hopefully it. not working having on to... Break yeah, into a mansion to avoid zombies. Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Clem, what's going on? Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe they did. I think so too. I'm standing guard in case they show up. You don't need to do that. We're gonna be safe inside real soon. Until then, just just stay close to me, okay? Okay. What's up, Christo? No mead. I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be. No offense. But you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. I mean, yeah, we'll take care of it. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Ha ha ha, you can't. It's the doghouse. Looks like something was buried here. How are we doing on this door, gentlemen? You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? We did have to shoot your interest. your wife and son yesterday. My feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Hey, Ben. How's it going, Ben? 
about what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Kacha and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the <laughs> best. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Is he hiding? The yeah, Ben is just all around creeper, which is fair enough. If I was a weird, gangly 16 year old, that's what I would do, too. This? Looks like this also, he's trying to hide from here. us because in the last episode, it was revealed that I tried it uh, he tried to. Who the hell Hang, ever heard of a lock? He tried to deal with bandits and their attack like killed it's, it's Kenny's wife the and son. A chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? I know where the dog is. Like something was buried here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. Yeah, Lee, we know something was buried there. <laughs> Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Oh, there it is. The shovel is never not useful. Because we're going to go use it on the dirt mound. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? A uh, dog. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. Ew, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me and I need. Let me work. It's just men work, watching him dig up a oh god an old smell. dog. Yep. Get it off. Sorry, little. Oh, okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're. I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... D Clem just went for it. Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. 
Just pet and purse. Pet and Percy off screen. She's being my social media intern today. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything um, make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there. I mean, they're stalking us, I can say that. Play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. I had to adjust my seat. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> all right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Well, you don't have to be so <laughs> sad about it. Lee, where are you going, man? Lee refuses to use that little side area. All empty. Nothing. Water's off. No power. My dog, Walter. Oh, Sorry, kid. All cleaned out. Dog food, dog food. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Hmm. Let's talk to Krista and Omid. Well, first let's talk to Clem. What's up, guys? Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, I have not. No, but I'll take care of it. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. First, being gross over here. I feel you. First, hey. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. 
What do you guys think about this plan, Achilles? Yeah, what do you guys think about the boat? The guy's losing it. There's a lot of guff I about the boat. Friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Speaking of which, I'll check this door. It is Nothing just a bathroom. Not exactly my style. It's Walter and family. All clear in here. Just one more to check. R.I.P. Walter. Straight up. At least my man didn't get drugged down by all of this. He went out before the bad times. Jesus! Oh! Whoa! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nope, no, just, just one broom. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. Yeah, you gotta tell us. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Oh, what did you guys do? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny, what are you doing? Kenny? Kenny, I don't like that framing. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Kinda looks like duck, don't he? Yeah, he does. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. You before know what? it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. Yeah, you can Kenny... Miss Kenny. Kenny, get some this. get some guts. No, Let's I do just... it. Oh God. Oh, 
poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been from the time if I hadn't found out what I did. Sorry, bud. At least it just took one. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Little homeboy so thin his accent lines are coming off his body. He's with his dog friend in the end. Gonna have everyone come out and watch me. No, Clem's not about it, and I don't blame her. Hello. you hey hey you stay the hell away from us you hear lee what's going on this motherfucker was out there i saw someone standing there by the fence watching us a walker no too fast took off like a bat out of hell when i spotted him was it a man or a woman didn't get a good enough look what does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Saw no. a dude. I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. Yeah, let's, let's really toss the find place. some stuff. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not okay, such a bad idea to check the place. One I more said day. I'm done with this house. Okay, Kenneth. 
You can go. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I mean, you're the... I need you to watch out for Omid and Chris. You're the most capable person here. Move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, light's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? D you're, you're doing the thing, Ben. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an you're, eye on Clementine. You're doing important do work, that. too. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, it's anything people. or anyone. Good. Well, Kenneth, my friend, let's go down to the marina. I want to find us some boats. Good old East Bay and Lincoln, my favorite. You okay, Ken? You're just going to pass the weird graffiti. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Hello, everyone. What in the hell is going on? Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Not one boat. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Boats are not going to work. Still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? 
You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. You got any change? Those things usually t take some money. And I don't have nothing. Hello. Um, giant wall. Great. Needs a quarter to work. <laughs> Lee's like, uh, hey, giant wall. Of still moving guys. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Good old doof 68 OB. Any of you guys have quarters? Pockets of one of you guys to have quarters? Empty. Yeah. That would have been too easy. Yeah. What about you, newspaper machine? What you got? Locked. Something in you, car? Siphoned. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Other than its sick blue paint job. Must have been a hell of a wreck. been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Yo, Kenny, I've been around. You got a quarter on you, man? You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. I mean, I'm looking. <laughs> Well, why give that to me as an option, ma'am? Nothing here. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Someone already looted the place. I'll just be the most observant little boy that I can. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Empty. Somebody already cleaned this place out. should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Yeah. <laughs> I had to understand the machine first, and then I could damage it. I say I'm gonna use my quarter. Hello. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? 
Yeah, I see you've noticed the, the wall, Kenneth. What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. <laughs> the king's like, holy shit! Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nope. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. At least two. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Hello? Hi, person. Get down. Get down. Why in the hell are we hiding? What are you getting comics? Somebody down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us, anyways. Look, this I don't want to fuck around with this ninja the one person. Who's been messing with us? If he is, we can put an end to it. Tabby Cat, right now, thanks. Okay. Um, the middle of the street. I Over have the played it like flank. once back come in 2010 on, on. when it came Take out. So I'm playing through all of them now. There are some things I forgot. This one a little less. I have well, played season talk. one a fair amount. But uh, thanks for coming by. And I will certainly enjoy the series. Hello. Just going to grab your... Hiking axe, friend. What's up? Uh, oh, hello. Ow! <laughs> Not this time. Ha <laughs> Lee. Hey, Clem. Clem? You're not from Crawford. I don't even know what that Crawford. is. What the hell are you talking about? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Have I played the final one? Yes, I have. Will that... Will I still have deep emotions on stream when I play that? More than likely. <laughs> Kenny's like, I'm here too! Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Good job, Kenneth. No, he's with us. Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. Hello. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Uh, nope. I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Mm -hmm. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Yeesh. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! 
Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I <laughs> jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks for you. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much That's the only thing I, I've never liked about yeah, Walking Dead media. is fast. It's like everyone has fun little names for them. Happen. I guess there's no internet, but... Um, what do you mean? Like, no I would refuse to believe that everyone no. wouldn't agree on no children, a colloquial no term. Elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <laughs> what exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. And to them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. Yuck. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Hey, what's going on? Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You want to keep your voice down? <laughs> yeah. How about you, we stop yelling, Kenneth? Shoot. Since you're not getting on any boat, That's I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Oh Lord right. Jeebus! Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a Damn! She's just about to leave us! Molly, we can't do that! Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! Yeah, come on, Molly. We have a child and she's adorable. Make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. <laughs> Go, Kenny. Come on. Come on, man. One good jump. Kenneth. No, Let me just casually. Casually walk down the alley. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. God, can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Thank you, Molly.
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. I have an insane knowledge of the sewer system, I guess. Shit. Feel solid. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. I know my ass was. There you go. I was gonna say, I know I would slip instantly. Ouch. My freaking leg. Hello, pipe. It's a drainage pipe. Oop. Don't want to go that way. Then let's turn it the other way. I see. I'll, looks like I can't go that way, so let me just keep on keeping on. Can't do anything that way. Ooh, Lee, bet you better go. That's a lot of bald and mulleted zombies. <laughs> do your little poopy pants run. And we wait. Is that the final one? Looks like it. Okay, we're just gonna peek our little heads out. Okay. Yeesh. Sorry, Chuck. Oh God. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. Better, old man. Let's hit her with our multi tool. Oh, ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I panicked. Ah! <laughs> I don't care, man.
Uh, do the cool thing she did. Oh. <laughs> uh, just move that then. Run! Hi, guys. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and, and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. I'm not. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here. I'm sorry. You can't yeah. trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. I did. I was like, I was doing? like, I don't want to steal the gun from him, but I don't Vernon. want him to shoot me. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford. No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them. Yeesh. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came How through is the, all the time? City. It'll take you Is that what they wrote in the background? Go. How is the time? Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I'm going to talk about to my, back to my somewhat family. daughter. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how long it was, but it only took me like 15 minutes to get here. Surely it's not too far. We'll be back in an hour.
Now is the time. Sorry, it's now. Now is the time for me. Clementine? Okay. Clem? Hello, Molly. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. <laughs> what a loser. What an old man. Belongs to me. It was very helpful. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. <laughs> you have to. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. I guess that will take a little bit longer than just getting me back to the house. Ooh, $35 off equals a free, or $35 equals a free meal from that Lee, thing on my phone. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, where are where are you at, ma'am? You in the study? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? What was she drawing? Clem's oh. drawings. But where is she? It was me burying the dog. Or I guess you in here? more burying the dead kid. Clementine? I swear there was a fast run option, but Clementine, maybe that's just here? in the later seasons. Hello? Hi, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go college? Ben? ben wishes. I'm pretty sure he's like 17. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. <laughs> I don't fucking care about these boxes. She outside? Don't see her out there. Clem? Clementine? Clem, where Clementine. Are you at? Come out, please! Kenny? You drinking in here, Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think what you're doing? What the fuck? What does it look like? Where's my daughter? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! 
Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? I mean, you do you. You're just annoying. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take <laughs> care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Ben, don't where is she? Just tell me where the hell she is now. Think she went out to play in the backyard? Oh, went out to own. play with no one watching her. Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. <laughs> it's your ass, Ben. Clementine, Clementine. Ooh, it sounds like it's gonna be Ben's ass. Hiding out in the doghouse, friend? Clem, where'd you go, man? This isn't funny. Clem, what are you doing in there? Is that you? <laughs> Wee! Oh, hey, Clem. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. I wish you had told us you were going in here. I know it's really great and stuff. That is not enough boat for all the people this that we have. I know, right? Don't waste that bottle of Parsi's whiskey. Give that some give some of that to Clementine. She found the boat. She deserves a prize. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, <laughs> if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well... You want the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad Let's news. The bad news out of the way yeah. First. The bad news is she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? 
Well, sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything. Looks like we, we gotta need. sneak in there. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? Yeah, you didn't I see the see wall, Krista. And just the how wall exactly do you figure we bodies. do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, nice. grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because I we're mean, gonna need every one of us to pull this yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Ben. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I, I you like Vernon. He's a good enough there. dude. Is it going to be dangerous? Just what gonna yeah. be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Me either, Clem. Me either. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? That is true. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I did say that. Can't I come with you? Yeah, come okay. on. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm gonna go grab my gun. <laughs> Ooh, my man Kenny over there is five frames per second in. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. <laughs> Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Yeah. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, yeah. there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Yeah. 
Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. <laughs> and what are we waiting for? I guess it's Let's just my my experience in the building I was in. So at Michigan State, I was in the Com Arts building, which has Hold like seven floors. Ready. I could tell you the layout of the first one, maybe the layout of the second one, anything after that. If you take her in there and they find her, <laughs> anything after that, it, I have zero idea. So if it was like it's, it's in the MSU it's Com Arts building, I'd just be She's like, coming. "Sorry, I can't help you. you heard I hardly man. know it." Let's move out. Thanks, Ben. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it! And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Sneak, 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 sneak. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one. Okay. Me and Kitty will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. <laughs> He's got a huge rifle. No shooting. Your enormous hunting rifle. What the fuck? That's a fucking zombie. Ah. Here. Get There's a lot of them. This place appears to be exclusively walkers. I mean, I know it scared Clem, but it's real. Here? Clem but wanted to be in on be everything. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Do you want to dawdle, Ben? Fuck off. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Benjamin. Sorry, that was a Just big ugly yawn. Don't 
Looks okay. Everybody in. Great place for your armory in the the kindergarten section. Oops. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. <laughs> Small other see. map. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Wow, deeply obvious. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I'm glad we have a plan. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Finn and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? You're much better than Ben. Oh, okay. Back before you know it. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. That is true. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. And if we're going to find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Just what we need for our boat. Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. No power, no TV. Oh man. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. <laughs> hey, Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? <laughs> well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. I did not feel like... No, wait. ...negging nor giving him positive. It's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. 
He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Buck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. No, you do not. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Ben, are you sassing me? Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, Ben. I'm going to get another cup of tea. Be back in a second. Okay, I have returned with a new cup of tea. And we will continue our adventure. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Yuck, does it say final solution? You okay, Clem? Hey, Clem. Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? I tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and Messing with my cat. Will there be homework? You better believe there'll be homework. No homework. Oh. <laughs> Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? <sighs> I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Clem, Clem hates talking to me now because I'm just a big bummer. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. <laughs> what a poignant observation to leave the room with. I'm sorry. This this is my last one. Hopscotch. Even better. It was just a bunch of paste. Hopscotch. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Way to the auto shops down here. Ah, you coming or not? Jeebus. Why were you so loud? Bone dry. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use a bathroom anyway. <laughs> well, you should. That's him again. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Door to alley. Bloody locker. Fun. What's in you? Open it without the combination. Ah. I'll check back in with you, crazy cool kids, after we go to the alley. Molly. 
Bobby, you out here? Let me just yell real quick. Guess I'm not going that way. Shot must be down this way. That's definitely what I needed. Hello, hole. Yeah, that was just a lucky guess. Shadowy person, are you going to keep attacking me? Better not get too close. Eesh. Leave him. He's mine. What were you doing up there? Yeah, why are you going crazy on this guy? Molly? Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! Well, you have certainly disemboweled this man. Scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Just happened to have a car oh, jack in there. That'll work. You better start winding, friend. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Also, that guy's still moving. You didn't even kill him, Molly. What are you doing? 78,000 hits sure and you didn't make it door. a good one. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. I'm no epic truck guy. Did they really just open up like that and all the little components are hanging out up front? It's locked. No way in. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Well, put it no down. Power. Okay, that's fair. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. How ever would people be able to live with more than one quart of oil? Can't reach it up there. Hey, Fran. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, I won't. Allow Hilda. I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Also, I want to talk to you about some stuff. Something you need? 
So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? That's fair, but also I do want to keep what interrogating you. you. No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? Yeah, what was going on? Came at me up you on were going insano style. Right at me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Neither but did you, because it's not. still I'm moving. <laughs> I'm going to have a look around. You do that. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Epic. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Motherfuck. Okay. Got that one off. I, I thought that I thought for some reason it would shake it's or off. it would uh spark shock me is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! I certainly will. Shoot it out. Okay. Thank you. Oof, got one of our components at least. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> that would not be me. I, I feel like I could put my athleticism to work and jump, but I would not be confident about it, and I would 1,000% fuck up. Come on! Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Did you guys get this thing open yet? Do you guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, well... I'll make my way back to class, I guess. I'll see what Clem's up to. Oh, Little help. hello. Little help here. Fuck, the doors won't close all the way. Please do something. Close, close, close! Hold. Damn well, well better. Well. Yeah, <laughs> damn well better. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. 
Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work. Uh, don't tell me about you, what you did at the. <laughs> how you doing with that door? Your wife died yesterday, Not bud. So don't tell me about how you made yeah. out with Let me Bree. Give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. You would not have. All on the same team. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Why would they make the leaving thing Y? It's it's always been B. Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Oh, and I fucked it up. Darn it. Oh, well. I'm sure she had some real insightful thing about being being a student here or her life at Crawford before the the pandemic before the infection. Hello zombies. I'm sorry, walkers. You guys get this thing open yet? Shit. Oh, sh shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Well, that's one. Ah, a little too many, but it worked out. Hello. What the hell happened? You heard me fire 17 bullets outside. After we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. No mids. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. this a copy machine not that it matters with no power around here why was he so entranced by the, the copy papers. machine no safe combination though phones probably haven't worked in months looks like some kind of medical file Anna Correa guess she must have been a patient here and what's this Video 82 OB. What's up, Vernon? Coming. Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Okay. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. For all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Here, here. Oh, help me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. 
I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. <laughs> More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Well, what about this obvious video camera? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Y'all already checked this empty box? There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. The hell happened here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. That's not foreboding. Hey, Krista. Yeah? I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. Yeesh. No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that her... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. Hmm. Throwing up? Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Okay. What if I shoot it? What if I just absolutely blast it? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. I guess it Logan uses batteries. I was like, how did he, how did he charge his, his internal battery? Why are you like a year that? into the sickness. Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I, can't I feel do like... This. I know their whole thing is like, we gotta be strong, like, but take some time performing but I need you to come back an abortion is just tomorrow. a use of well, materials no that, like, you don't need to. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said. Worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Okay. Back back out to the alley I go. Hello, zombies. Don't mind me, just headed back to the alley.
I'll just take my little shelf again. Oh, hello. You mother. Go die, please. Thank you. I'm gonna do the jump again. <laughs> Hey, guy. Yuck. This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Well, anyways, yes, yeah. Yeah. you better get your get yourself out of there. Don't ask how he did that. I don't remember there being a clear way to get out, but whatever. Logan, this must have been his locker. Didn't even make me do the. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Didn't even make me do the combination. It's just like ah, you got it. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Uh, ah, yeesh. Scalpel to the side, stole his gun. No. No. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? Yeah, what's going on, Krista? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe I don't care. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Old. Let's get let's get some backstory. Let's get some lore. Some ucky yucky lore. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Mm. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it?
You. Well, shit. Yep, so Molly had some sort of sexual agreement with the doctor uh, that he reneged on, and that's why she had to leave. And well, it was for her sister, who was some sort of sick. And then that's why she was not a fan of him when she saw him again. The shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. What kind of interaction was that, Molly? Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. That is fair. Twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. Yeah, there you go. There's her explanation. She's 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. God. Pretty. Who would be like, I don't care? I think that's our I guess if someone just absolutely it. disliked Molly, but she earned her keep. Ah, Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Benjamin. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! Damn it, Ben. I don't know why I was replaying the impact the noise over and on? over. They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. It is. It about? is. Yeah, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Shut up. Whatever you did, save it for later. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. <laughs> what are you saying? 
It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I am yeah, just beat him up. Ass. Beat him up. Now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss head. You're fucking dead. You hear me? Dead. My wife and child. You got a boat fucking kill. So technically, just your child. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now, we got your wife. Go. Choose to game end. Nice group you got here. Molly, That's hush. Time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind. You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? There ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, yeah. don't I get a vote? You do, Clem. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's no, we vote. don't. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Um. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh, well, I guess you don't anymore. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Nope. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. You got a shotgun. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> This thing's got a lot of ammunition. Oh, Lord. We got on this thing. Thank you, Krista. Yeah, we did. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yeah, come on, let's go! Come on, Ben. Oh, 
Ben! I've got you! Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Fucking around! Come on, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! Ben, no. At least it will be quick. Everything okay? Oh, me! You okay, Oh, me? Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. I mean, Ben... Ben gave up. That was my big thing, is he... Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Uh... I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling... Like, I don't feel great soon. about it, but Ben just stay here gave up, so I let him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. And he did put us at risk many, many, many times, but... Maybe now's a good time yeah. for you and me to have a little talk in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. Yeah. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination... It's not great. You really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her. I mean, I don't be safe. I don't want her to go with them, you but me with a lot here, you need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want he you isn't to wrong. You mm -hmm. chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey. 
Hey, Clem. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. <laughs> Well, bye, Molly. Hey, Clem. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Just somewhere not here. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? <sighs> Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. He didn't. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah, he thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes that's a, a good person. That's a good way to look at it. She was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. We... I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. No pithy commentary from me. I just... It fucks me up, making her sad. <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? Hmm. Clementine? Clementine! She dirt sure does love to run around in this house. Hiding in the trash? Oh. I just stopped mid animation for a second. Hello? Oh! Oh no! What are you 
doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No <sighs> way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have I need time. help. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Thank you. Written or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Man... Leave. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Yep. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Vernon, put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead. <laughs> Final episode coming up. Episode 5. No time left. Okay, so the breakdown here. Did we kill the boy in the attic? Me and 74% of players killed him. Makes sense. I'm not going to force Kenny to to kill a kid that kind of looked like his. It's not his kid. I can, I can do it. Do we lie or threaten Vernon? We are rational and honest. I have threatened Vernon before. 
Uh, he belly aches about it every single bit. He's like, I'm an old man. Do you want me to trust you? That's whatever. I didn't want to do it. Do we bring Clementine? Of course, me and 73% of people brought her because she is important. She's useful. And I don't want to leave her behind. Uh, 33% of players and I let Ben fall to their death. I get it. Usually I do save him. In the past, I've saved him. I, he had given up. He had, he thought of the group before us. I do not like that Kenny looks back and he's like, you let, let that little string bean fall. I feel like it would be a more poetic moment if we didn't have Kenny mean mugging me, but I'll, I'll be happy to be in the minority on that one. And then we did, did you reveal your bite to the group? 80% of players and I did. Yeah, it just makes sense. What am I going to do? go on a, a whole extra episode where I'm like, oh, I'm just wearing long sleeves. It's dumb. Who came with me? So I had... So typically, it is... Well, I guess it's it's actually pretty split. It can be Kenny and you, which makes sense if you hit the bite. Uh, everyone, which makes sense if you hide your bite. Or I'm sorry, if you save Ben. Then it's everyone minus Kenny, which is fair. Kenny is a bastard. You don't always have to side with him. And I think it only takes like two or three times of you not siding with him. And he's like, I'm not going to go with you. I don't like you anymore. Uh, but if you do save him and you save Ben, but you hide your bite, then that's the 12%. 11% is Ben's dead, but you're mean to Kenny, but you do show your bite. And then if you did, that's uh, 10%, but Ben's alive. And I'm glad people don't go alone because that's just sad. <laughs> that's the saddest option of having everyone be dead and not trusting anyone. Jeez Louise. Episode four. That's definitely my favorite of all of them. Episode five, episode five and four sort of trade, but four is, is definitely a goodie. I am excited to play episode five. I might do it within, I'll probably finish the game within this week as of this stream. So I guess I'm just gonna let the, the credits play here. I don't have that much to say. Look forward soon to episode five. And I'm just going to let it play. Just waiting for those telltale pets. That's how you can tell. Miss Floopy Doop Paws 2012. Oh boy. There you go, telltale pets. That's the last thing. Yeesh. Well, thank you for coming to the stream, everyone. Thank you for watching today. Like I said, later this week, you will probably see me play the finale of Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 5, No Time Left. Until then, have a great rest of your day, be good to each other, and smooches. Yeah.